Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Lark, and my book this week is just called Friends, and it's written and illustrated by Helm Hine, and it's really a lot of beautiful watercolor paintings that they used in this story about a group of friends. Let's listen. Every morning, when Charlie Rooster strutted into the barn to wake the other animals, Johnny Mouse and Percy went with him to help. Good friends always stick together, they said. When this job was done, they wheeled their bicycle out of the barn and set off for their morning ride. They could ride down the roughest paths and up the steepest hills. No curve was too sharp for them, and their bicycle, no puddle was deep enough to stop them. One day they played a game of hide and seek by the village pond. Can you find the rooster? While Johnny Mouse was hiding, he discovered an old boat lying in the tall grass. He showed his friends. And they decided to play pirates. Good friends always decide things together, they said. Johnny Mouse took the tiller. Charlie Rooster opened his wings to make the sail. And Percy plugged up the hole in the side of the boat by sitting on it. They sailed out on the open water, and as the day went on, they felt very brave and bold. They conquered the village pond. But hunger finally sent them back to the shore. First, they tried to catch a fish but their stomachs rumbled so loudly that they frightened all the fish away. Then they went looking for cherries. They shared them, some for Johnny Mouse, some for Charlie Rooster, and twice as many for Percy. Johnny Mouse didn't mind, but Charlie Rooster complained he said it was unfair, so they gave him the cherry stones. Friends are always fair, they said. They ate so many cherries that they all got stomach aches and had to sit down for a while before they started back. As evening fell and the shadows grew longer, they bicycled home. Behind the hen house, near the water barrel, they swore to be friends forever. Good friends always stick together, they said. They decided to spend the night in Johnny Mouse's house, but Charlie Rooster got stuck in the doorway. Then Percy invited them to spend the night with him, but Johnny Mouse said he didn't want to sleep in a pigsty. Finally, Charlie Rooster suggested sleeping in the hen house. They tried to rest on a perch high above the ground. Uh-oh. But it broke. So sadly, 
They said good night to each other and went to their own beds. Sometimes good friends can't be together, they said. But that night, they dreamed about each other the way true friends do. And I think that is the end. It is the end. I hope you enjoyed that story about a silly group of friends. They were definitely all very different and liked different things, but together they had a whole lot of fun. I hope that's the way it is for you too, boys and girls, that you enjoy having fun with your friends. You decide things together. You enjoy each other's company, even if sometimes you like very different things. All right, everyone, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon.